say I am going to look at Piers Morgan like I said I would. I'm also going to respond to comments made under the last video. So in the meantime I'm going to look at Derek Jackson. He's been cheating on his wife but he is a relationship coach so he's got a YouTube channel advising people on how to have healthy relationships but it had been leaked that he was having all these different affairs and he's recently spoken on Instagram and said that it's true. So let's have a look at how he comes across in that video. What's going on guys? Derek Jackson here and today I am joined by my lovely wife Danea and we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. Wait, what did he just say? This chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. So he wants to make it clear that he isn't currently failing. In the past he did fail, but the main thing is that at the moment he isn't failing. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. Wait, who's Derek Jackson? Isn't that you? Derek Jackson was involved with other women. So he's talking about himself in the third person. Again, he's distancing himself from what he's done. He started off doing it by saying that that was in the past, and now he's doing it by talking about himself as if he's a completely different person. And by involved, I wanna be clear, I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. So he's talking about how he's had sex with other women, but from the way he's talking and his body language, he's saying this in a really authoritative way. So he's still in full control. His body language speaks much more loudly than the words he's saying. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with, um, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate cheating. So he's just told us that some people would think that some of what he did was perfectly fine, but he doesn't think it's fine. He's just admitted to having sex with all these different women, but he's focusing on the people he's no longer speaking to because he once had sex with them in the past. And he's saying basically what a nice guy he is because a lot of other guys would think that was okay. Now I'm saying this publicly, not because I'm, you know, married to you guys. Come again? Not because I'm, you know, married to you guys. Why are you telling us you're not married to us? Now, I'm saying this publicly, not because I'm, you know, married to you guys. So, again, he's telling us that he's going above and beyond, that he doesn't owe us anything because he's not married to us. So, he's been a big hypocrite and people have been thinking of him as their mentor, but he still feels like he doesn't owe them anything and that he needs to point that out so they'll appreciate what a nice person he is to generously admit this to us. Um, it's important that I first off let you guys know I do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. And then secondly, I know that I cannot build a platform preaching certain things, preaching against certain things, and then in my real life live contrary to that. But you have done that. And yet, he still wants us to appreciate how nice it is that he isn't doing it now. So we can see just how much he needs approval from everyone and how his focus is really on coming across as this really nice guy. So his behaviour in this video is really narcissistic because he's not able to empathise with his audience or with the effect he might have had on them. Instead, he's really preoccupied with himself, his image, and with getting what seems to be narcissistic supply from us. Contrary to that, for any amount of time or, or any length of time to any extent and think that I can't be held accountable. You know, the same way that I preach, you know, men and women in this situation need to face consequences of their actions, um, deserve to be held accountable. Guess what? Derrick Jackson's no exemption. He, he's not exempt from that. He's talking about himself in the third person again, and he sticks his tongue out as if he's trying to get away from what he's just said. So people can do that when they're lying and they want to distance themselves from the lie. Like this may come as a huge shock, probably a huge disappointment. I let a lot of you down. 
Um, you know, if you've had a perspective shift on who Derek is, hopefully it's away from anything remotely close to perfection. And it is simply that, you know, I am a human and that does not justify anything that I did. But I don't want anybody out there to be putting me on a pedestal. If you did, then I, I hate that you did that. Maybe I gave you cause for that and I apologize if I did. So I'm human and I shouldn't be put on a pedestal. In other words, cheating on my wife over and over again while preaching to all of you about how to have a healthy relationship is me just being human. And if you thought I was better than that, then you were putting me on a pedestal and you shouldn't be doing that because I'm just like you. So again, he's not really owning what he's done. He's not accepting that what he's done is actually really low. It seems like throughout this video, he really cannot tolerate the idea that he's an abusive person because that's what he is. You know, even if it's really underhand, what he's done is abuse his wife. He's abused her trust. He's totally betrayed her and he's betrayed his viewers. But throughout, we've seen different ways in which he hasn't been able to face up to this. Even though he's admitted to cheating, he's doing all he can to preserve the mask he's been wearing for so long. So he wants to make it clear that he's still exactly the same person that everyone trusted, even though he betrayed everyone for a number of years. So what is the video really about? It seems to be something he's doing because his wife has said to do it. He later says that it was her idea and he tries to blame her for it. So that doesn't look good either because it's not even him that's behind this video. A YouTuber called Candice de Madeiras had already told people that he'd been cheating with her. So it was already out in the public anyway. So when you add that to the fact it was his wife who told him to make this video, I don't think he really deserves a lot of credit for making it. Um, for those who are saying, Derek, I don't want to ever listen to you again. It's totally understandable. I appreciate you while I had your support and helping me get the message out about healing and healthy relationships to so many people who needed it, myself included. By thanking people for supporting the work he's done and saying how he knows it was helpful and it helped him too, he's saying that he doesn't regret any of it. Even though while he was talking about this stuff, he was doing the opposite himself which makes it all pretty meaningless. Again, this is really narcissistic because narcissism is all about escaping shame and that's exactly what he's doing. So a narcissist can't apologize because that would involve having to face their own shame and they're too preoccupied with their image to, to be able to do that. And with him, we can see that his mask is so important to him that even now when he's admitting that he's not that person, He's still presenting himself as if he is. Look at how he's holding his wife's hand. It's in his body space over his thigh. He's clearly the one in the driving seat. If he could really take responsibility for what he'd done, he wouldn't be looking so in control all the time. His body language wouldn't look like that. He'd be looking vulnerable because it's a really hard thing to have to admit to. And he'd be looking sheepish and ashamed of himself. Instead, he's talking about how he's been put on a pedestal rather than saying, I've done something that's really low that most of you probably wouldn't do. That's the fruit of bringing things in alignment with God and the mess that's been made, the mess that's now being made public from last year and you know, years past. That's a result of getting out of alignment with doing things God's way. Notice how many times throughout this video he's spoken for his wife. So that's where I stand. Um, that's where we stand. And again, um, we appreciate you guys and we'll see you soon. Peace. The ending of the video doesn't feel appropriate because he doesn't look like he's sorry. It doesn't seem like at any point he really opened up to us. It was all about maintaining his image while getting out the truth as quickly as possible and then quickly covering it up again. So for those people who are waiting for a really narcissistic person to apologize to them, it's probably never gonna happen in any meaningful way because the person won't ever be able to face up to what they've done or you know what it really means. Even if they can say the words, yes, I did this or sorry, which is in itself quite rare, 
they're not going to feel it. They're not going to be able to face that shame because that's what they spend their whole life avoiding. That's why they are the way they are in the first place. And the sooner you're able to accept that and stop waiting for an apology, the sooner you're going to be able to get on with your life. So I hope that was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.